Now, today's video is very bitter and sweet because we're gonna be checking out the last influencer update until December 22nd, which is when Kickstarter backers pretty much get the game and we will receive an update then. But for now, we will be checking out fishing, the recycling machine, Kazuki's smelting service, along with the caves. And I'm really excited super excited that i pretty much already took care of our farm and our little coop and what is it barn area so those two are actually finished now for the people that are in kickstarter i do want to show you guys where to find three fish now all in all there is a total of four fish but unfortunately i'm not sure where the fourth fish is at i'm only aware of three so hopefully during the Kickstarter update, I will be able to show you guys that fish on the last update that I will be able to play, which is very bitter and sweet as I stated, because it's amazing to just see this game grow. And I'm really excited for you guys to just be able to play and to sit back and watch other people play. But I do remember from the last update with the fishing that the bigger the fish, the harder the difficulty, the smaller the fish, the easier the difficulty. And this fish I believe is a salmon. Yes, it's a king salmon, but this fish is actually quite big. So I'm kind of curious on if they kind of changed the difficulty a little bit. Now. I do remember that no matter how many times you fish in that little area there, you will only collect salmons. They only go with fish in their same species. So if you guys fish that same area and you guys think, you know what, I'll fish five times, maybe I'll catch a different fish. Unfortunately, that's not how it works. Although it is very good because the last fish that I'm going to show you that I'm aware of actually sells for a lot of money and as you guys can see i have 3313 bucks in the game so i'm actually doing pretty well for myself now the next fish i'm going to show you guys is called the i believe it's the kadai fish i believe i'm not sure now these fishes actually roll over here and as you guys can see, they kind of have a glow-in-the-dark tint. Now, the developers did say that he wanted to fish to be really easy to catch during the nighttime. Because as you guys know from other fishing games or other farming games, that fishing at night is very hectic. It's very hard to fish at night because it's super dark and you can't really see anything. So during nighttime or during days where it may be a little darker, they actually added fog now if i'm correct we haven't had fog before now i could definitely be incorrect but as far as my memory goes i don't remember fog so they actually added fog so i'm pretty sure that when it's foggy and you can't really see the fishes are going to be a whole lot easier to catch visually which is very nice but as you guys can see here we're actually at Takiro. And right here we have the little recycling machines which is really nice i did actually <laughs> recycle things yesterday and you have hero here making sure that everything is in that no one stole the things that i put in thank you hero <laughs> and just making sure that everything works properly which is absolutely amazing so now i'm gonna go ahead and head over to kazuki and say, for example, I would like to craft something. I would talk to Kazuki. Hi, Master Ishikawa. This one said hi. And we're gonna say we like to shop. I would press this services button here. And, hmm. Say if I wanna make glass, for example, for a building. I would place such amount of sand buckets in here. But let's just say if I wanna split it. Maybe I want to put in 50 buckets of sand. Let's just do 50. I would put it in here and I would give it to him like this. And he would tell you when the order should be ready. 
thought I would then stop by tomorrow and pick up my glass. Which, depending on the next update, maybe, maybe not. They might add furniture. So maybe that wasn't a waste of money. <laughs> and either way, I definitely wanted to show you guys all of this stuff that the developers added because this this is amazing this is really cool so i would show you guys the beach combing a little bit later at night i really want to show you guys this last fish then we're gonna go mining after we go mining we can go ahead and comb the beach for some things and then plug it into the recycling machine. But this game is so fascinating. I just love the landscape of everything, the shrine in the back. The music is ultimately super relaxing. Each time I play Sunnyside, it's like a whole new experience and I absolutely love this game for that reason. Anyways, if you guys see over here, these are actually Kadai fish. As you guys can tell by the model. Now, I'm unaware of this fish. This looks like it could be... Could this be the fish that I'm looking for? They look like they could be Kadai. We're just gonna catch it just to make sure. Because like I stated, I still don't know where the fourth fish is at. And maybe... Just maybe this could be it. I highly doubt it. Yeah, that looks like Kadai. Okay. No, no, no! <laughs> Oh no! Okay, you guys, ignore this, okay? We're not supposed to be in the water anyways, but I fell. Okay, so I have an excuse. <laughs> anyways, the third fish is all the way over here. Near this bridge right here. And it's right here. Perfect. Now let's get it. This fish, funny story, actually sells for so much money. This is exactly how I got this amount of money this quick is by this fish it is amazing also another way of making good money is ultimately going mining on the cave going cave mining is so really it's actually really good especially now because you're more prone to getting emeralds and rubies and amethyst in the game that you get it more often because the spawn rate is a lot higher so when you sell that money, you sell it for a lot more money. So before, I would get my money from just fishing. But now, I'm going mining. I'm going fishing. I'm just doing everything. And it's amazing that I don't have to only rely on farming. And that's exactly what I love about this game. Is that you don't technically have to go one route. Maybe if you don't like mining, you'll go fishing. Maybe if you don't want to fish, you can sell the cooked food that you make. You can sell the grill food that you make. You just have a lot of options that this game really honestly can't let you down. Anyways, I want to catch at least four of these fishes and then we can go mining. I'm just trying to separate my time wisely. Now, I kind of don't want to make this video too, too, too long. I just want to make it long enough so where you guys can kind of get the gist of the update. And that the Kickstarter people can pretty much have ideas of where to go for fishing, where to go to find the cave. Because actually, funny story, when the update just came out, I had no idea where the caves were at, at all. So I was going through town and I seen this sign here and it said the old cave. So I was following the sign and the sign actually led me to Catherine's place. So, I was like, okay, I'm confused. It's either they completely forgot to put the caves in the update, or maybe I'm just not finding it. So, I was spending a lot of time, and we're actually gonna go do our little beach combing right now. There is like a beach right over here. So, let's just kill two birds with one stone. Like I was saying, though, I was like, they either completely just missed the caves in this update or maybe i'm just not finding it and yes everybody the caves are in this update i had to find it 
the cave, uh, excuse me, the cave is in the update. But yes, pretty much to use the recycling machine, you will just have to comb the beach, which you pretty much just spam, left click, and you will receive scrap metal recyclable plastic. Now they did say that, for example, if you get soda cans or anything that has to do with metal or plastic, any food item that may be in it, you guys could actually recycle it. Now, I want to get a little bit of 20 each, at least. Perfect. 21, 27, that is perfectly fine. So, I need to make sure that I keep track of my health because when we go to the caves, it's going to take down our stamina dramatically. So, if we go to the caves with full energy and full hunger and everything is okay, I'll be able to stay in the mines a lot longer. And they actually did tweak the lighting in the game. So the lighting at nighttime and sunny side is absolutely amazing. I love the lighting in the game. It's beautiful. So I'm actually gonna just put this cheat in here because if we had to walk that extra extra long way, it would have took us a minute. And I don't, like I said, <laughs> wanna make this video too 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 long. But how would you guys feel if instead it said, for example, Sunnyside Farm for our house or something? It said your actual farm name. How would you guys feel about that? I feel like, you know, I'm okay with our farm just being Sunnyside Farm. But obviously in the game, you put your farm name. But what if they actually had signs that point to your farm and said your farm name is right here? I mean... It'll be nice. I wouldn't be too enthused like, oh my gosh, that's my farm name. It'll just kind of be like, okay, I'll kind of feel included. You feel me? But it's not something that I necessarily need. But yes, you guys, here it says the old caves. And for me, when I first seen this, I was following this little path here. And I was following and following it until it led me to the bridge in the upper left hand corner on the mini map and i was like okay i went to the bridge and i was like okay maybe it's past the bridge and then i was like there wouldn't be any caves near the waterfall that would just be interesting so no but if you guys look in the upper left hand corner on the mini map you guys will see this little narrow entry in this mountain here this is actually where the cave is at and I was like, okay, this is actually really beautiful. Luckily, I've been keeping track of my energy. This way, I can make sure that I have enough energy to make sure I can go through this whole cave area. So let's jump up here. And then we should be greeted by a pretty rock like this one. I love the whole ambiance, how it's kind of like intimidating. You hear rumbling in the back. The music just stopped. I guess there's supposed to be like some cave music like every other farm game. So I guess this may not be in the game yet. Maybe. But yeah, this is beautiful. Let's get this. And as you guys see, we're actually getting a lot of emeralds, amethyst, copper, iron, and everything. Which is very beautiful. Because before that, we would just be getting copper, iron, and stone, and... We wouldn't be getting too, too, too much of the minerals here. And I'm very excited because I did watch an older Q&A where Rainy did state that the minerals will have different qualities. So some may be in a very good shape. Others may be in very bad shape. So I'm curious on how he plans to implement this in the final game. But so far, the caves are absolutely beautiful. I just wish that the music would kind of keep playing. Break this. Hopefully, and I think that was the end, actually. Yeah, there's only one cave level, and he did state that there is going to be no monsters in the first level of the cave. But after that, there is no promises. So prepare yourselves. Can we jump up here? Yes, we can. This is beautiful. I absolutely love the attention to detail. It's very nice. 
So what I actually want to do is I want to head over to the recycling machine near Tech Hero. I want to show you guys the lighting that they have been working on because the shop, Stocko's shop to be more specific, looks absolutely beautiful. During the night, during the day, the lighting is absolutely amazing. Let's go ahead and see. This is beautiful. Just the sound of the birds and just seeing like the sunset. Oh, the fireflies. This is amazing. All right. So Oak Tree Groceries is actually right over here. I love this so much. Okay, so let's take the little shortcut right here. You guys think I can jump this fence? <laughs> and we definitely did. Okay, great. Now, this is Sako's shop. You guys, do you see this lighting? Do you guys see this lighting? Look at Miss Sako looking so beautiful effortlessly. You do it well, Sako. Okay, honey? <laughs> she does it pretty dang well. All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and sell our fishies, our minerals our wild king salmon and i think that's pretty much it we got a cool little 484. so let's go ahead stop by the recycling machine and then tomorrow we can go ahead and collect our stuff from kazuki after we collect our things from kazuki and we need to receive our things from the recycling machine Oh, get useful resources, of course. Let's go ahead and install this scrap metal along with this recyclable plastic here. And we're gonna receive 21 iron nuggets and 54 hard plastic pellets. And three more hours. Now I'm gonna go ahead and allow our little person to go to sleep. But I really want to show you guys the street light. Is it not going to turn on? There is supposed to be... Oh, wow. Okay, it did. Okay, perfect. The light over the bridges are so beautiful. Especially when it's like dark, dark. Right now, it's like 6.40. Oh, there it goes. When it gets really dark, the light on the bridge, it ultimately gets brighter. And it's so beautiful. That's amazing this so much riverside barn look at gabe gabe is so scrumptious if you guys don't know i'm team gabe okay i love gabe so much i'm telling you i was debating with myself i was like okay everybody would it make sense if i marry gabe or xander and my first save file i was like you know what we're, we're marrying gabe and our first save file and my second save file which might be this one because they did say that you're able to keep your save files. I might end up marrying Xander in this save file. Except for romancing Gabe in this one. So we're going to see how it goes. Obviously, when I get my little alpha key, I will definitely keep you guys updated. That's going to be a let's play. I promise to you. This Sunnyside alpha let's play, that will start February 14th of 2022 that's crazy we're almost in 2022 what anyways i will definitely do a sunny side alpha let's play now that's a bug and gabriel might end up texting me talking about he delivered the hens yeah ignore that y'all anyways i will definitely be doing a let's play on this game but this is amazing but you know what's crazy? I actually have a really good CPU. So, when this game announced that they were not going off of CPU, they were actually going off of GPU. I was like, no. Cause I have a RX 580 for my GPU. I was like, no, tell me you're not. <laughs> Anyways, you guys just go to this little quick recycle vendor and press E and it'll all appear in your inventory which is right the east iron nugget and this one hot plastic pellet i think those were the two i received 
anyways i was like no i think the rx 580 is a good gpu because i'm playing this on ultra and mind you guys the game is not fully optimized and my game is actually playing really well so that really shocked me <laughs> but i'm very happy to say less your items are ready it has been a pleasure working metal for you thank you master ishikawa thank you and here we have our 16 glass but i'm gonna end this part right here sadly i will see you guys december 22nd of the last ever update for the influencer alpha i really hope you guys enjoyed this video where we took a quick glance at the update that just came out for 0 0.7.3 Hope you guys have an amazing day. If you guys have the time, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys very much.